I mean, we're fighting for the club, fighting for each other, fighting, everyone's fighting for something. So I think it's, um, I know they talk about no relegation, but, you know, it's about pride. Uh, it's about building, um, you know, on what we've done throughout the year and, and for building for next season. So I think um, it's basically just, you know, going out there and, you know, continuing to work on what we've um, been taught from the coaching staff and try and implement that in these games and, and basically build momentum for next season. Is what was your reaction to Miami's accusations against Jackson? Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to comment on that. Um, I know the league's doing an investigation, and um, you know we're kind of waiting to, to see what comes out with that. But right now, we're just focused on the Montreal game. Mm -hmm. um, just stepping a little bit away from that, the tax is still not here. Um, it's obviously been a, a huge uh, influence this year. Yeah. What, what's it? He's missed some games because of injury this year. So what's it like without him around? Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of international guys still not around right now. So I think that's just part of the, you know, what's going on. So he was with Greece. You know, we had some other guys with on international duty. So um, incorporating those guys back into the team um, after these, you know, those those games for them um, going into Montreal is, is, is crucial. So, um, yeah, it's just basically once they come back, then, then we get going again. Any questions from Jeff? Yeah, we'll go to Jeff Strauss. Jeff, go ahead, buddy. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, going into Montreal, obviously, they have a couple of guys up top that give you some problems in the back there uh, with Kyoto and Kamara. What do you guys need to do to shut them down? Yeah, definitely a handful. Um, played against them many times. They're they're uh, they're strong. They're powerful. They're good at finishing. They're fast. Um, so it's basically just being tuned in the whole game, being focused, minimizing their chances, uh, you know, making sure we get out to crosses because they, they definitely thrive on, on crosses and transition. So um, basically being organized in, in that sense when we have the ball. So um, just tuned in, locked in for, for 90 plus minutes. And, and Steve, the, uh, the guy behind you, Ochoa, has been pretty good this year since he's joined the club. What have you seen in him? What does he bring to the club from a goaltending pers or goalkeeping perspective uh, that maybe the other guys had? It? What's what's special about him? Um, you know, he's a gamer. He comes up with big saves at, at, at big crucial moments. So um, you know, sometimes you don't expect him to get to it. He's going to get there. Uh, so it's great to have a guy like that behind me. And you know, if we mess up, he's there to to kind of save us. So it's nice to nice to have that. Do you have any personal goals for yourself? Obviously, we talked about relegation, really there being no incentive for for the last few games. But what, what goals do you set for yourself for these last two matches? Two shutouts. It's the biggest thing for, for me. Is if we can get two shutouts, I'm, I'm going to be happy.